everyone, thank you for tuning in. I'm your instructor Joy. Thank you very much for your continued support. I really appreciate. This video is an answer to a subscriber. This violin student was wondering how one could hold the bow and the violin in one hand. Very good question. Um, it is okay if you hold the violin with one hand, the bow with the other hand, and it's fine as long as you hold it safely. Meaning make sure the violin stays good in your hand in a relaxed way. And the tip of the bow, which is a little pointy, try to have it not sticking up or rather facing the ground this way. If you hold it something like this when you enter the stage or walking, that is fine too. That's very first way that you have to know how to hold it. So simply I make a little ring and then place it near the frog and then hold it like this and then we'll do. Now let's say you know already how to hold the violin safely. Then next step would be explore whether you can hold the violin and the bow in one hand. That way the other hand is free to carry your music to the, st uh, to the stage or after your performance often the conductor like to um, congratulate you by giving or shaking your hand. You might want to be able to do that with a free hand or sometimes very nice audience come on the stage give you a nice bouquet of flower and give you a hug you want to be able to receive it and then show your gratitude and so on. It's a good idea to have one hand free. Doesn't matter if you're holding left, whether left hand or right hand the violin, either way is fine. A couple of things I'm going to show you are three ways of holding the violin and the bow with one hand and try yourself and hopefully um, you will find several ways of doing it. First one, um, I, I like to hold the violin with my left hand because my left fingers tend to be a little more flexible <laughs> with this, this being violin hand. So just grab it the way you would do, you know, just simply having this way, simple grip. It's important then we're going to stick our index finger this will be our bow holder so basically this one you know between the bow the hook I create a little hook like that now this is good however it's not finished because if you leave it the bow will hit your violin as you walk it you see it bounces a little so we need to create the distance between the bow and the violin so it doesn't accidentally hit your violin and damage it. So this is where the middle finger comes. I grab it and I make it a little, I create a little hook like that, but then I push my middle fingers to create, to push it away, a little like this. So again, like that, oopsie. It's a hook with the index finger. And I push middle fingers here and then push it away to create distance between the bow and the valley. It doesn't have to be very big, but just a little, so that I don't make sure that the bow does not hit it. And that's one way of doing it. It's nice when you enter the stage this way, make sure when you enter the stage, do not hold the valley too low, about in your waist level, bending your elbow like that, that will work. Uh, second way is a lot of uh, ladies like to do is, so you basically hold the valley in your neck and then between your waist and an elbow, you're putting your violin in between like that. You've probably seen it a lot. Here, you have to be careful. You don't press the bridge. Because remember, you could actually damage violin. But rather, slightly press where your chin rest is. Here, like that. Notice that my arm is holding one of the edge of the violin. I'm having my violin rested. Right? Oopsie, I don't know if you can see it. And then gently. And then you can also create a little extra protection by holding it, lifting up with a little wrist hook like that. Then here, you can just hold it, grab your bow like this. Make sure this is not pointing forward, sticking or anybody, but rather upwards. Or if you're not sure, just create a little hook like that and then make sure the hair pointing, uh, the tip pointing downwards. Either way works. So either up or down. But for sure, not this way. Either it always has to be vertical. This way or that way. As long as it's vertical, it's fine. And then you can walk with a music stand or give your hand like that. Now, um, just, just watch it and you don't press that one. The last one 
it's something it's my least favorite one but I had a professor who always held the violin that way but I remember also watching his violin very carefully being very, get, getting very nervous so this is how he held it and it is now he's not the only one who does that but so basically you create a little hook with the two middle fingers and then you stick your two fingers in this peg box peg boxes are it's this square one where the pegs are stuck in so you create like this you see and then with a thumb you hold it with a with a scroll like that again like two little fingers and stick into the peg box there's a little room and then you you hold it with a thumb like that so this one even though it is a, it is holding it it makes me a little uncomfortable because you're holding it with a very little finger tip and then with the same finger index finger you just stick it and then you're creating a little distance between the bow and the violin with the, with a finger joint here or the, or the back of your hand like that so some violins hold it like that this one is not my favorite but it still is one way whichever you do try to hold the violin within your body not too far out when especially when you walk whether you are walking this way or this way make sure it's always close your body or this way this or either way like that first yeah so and also after you walk into the stage make sure you hold your body with the both hands and then take a bow properly holding the violin. Some violins walk in this way and then they take a bow this way, even though it's not a bad idea, but it's not seen as a very polite. So you can walk in and out or shake hands and things like that. But once you're about to uh, take a bow or give a speech, would be better if you hold the violin right in front of you like this around level about around your waist or some more or less yeah i hope you can try yourself thank you for watching and hope to see you again bye bye